What a very pleasant and fine morning to each and everyone. Hope work is going well. Kay ganda talaga ng umaga kapag si Kristo ang ating kasama. Now it's about time to post a verse and this time it is on 2 Corinthians 5.17 which speaks, So then if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, they have become new. You know, even though we have been regenerated, kahit tayo ay naisilang na muli, or pinanganak na muli sa Espiritu, that is to be made a new creation by believing into the Lord Jesus and being baptized, we are uh, prone. Uh, we are still the old creation most of the time, according to our daily walk in actuality. Regardless of how long we have been in the Lord, we still keep our old habits, mga na kasanayan natin, makalumang tao. Uh, sometimes we live in the Spirit to live Christ, but most of the time we still live our old habits, our old nature. However, once we focus on that verse a while ago, that enable us to get our attention on If anyone is in Christ, or in Christ, kung i-translate natin sa Tagalog, nagsasabi ito, kung sino man ay nasa loob ni Kristo. You know, the portion in Christ implies that our Christ is imperable. He is a realm into whom all things in us will become new. In other words, once we get into Christ, we become a new creation. You know, our calling on the Lord is our entering into Him. This is why we have to say, Oh Lord Jesus, from the very depth of our being, we should call on His name, Oh Lord Jesus, or Oh Panginoong Jesus, Oh Ginoong Jesus. In this way, the Lord is able to add Himself in us. When we contact Him by even by means of prayer, He is adding more and more of the divine element into our being. As the new element of God is being added into our being, this new element metabolically renew, renews us. God renews us with His element to discharge our old element. And eventually, we can say, I have been re- renewed by the Lord today. Okay, just a little, Mona. See you and hear you on the next verse vlog. Thanks for watching. And even, thanks for subscribing. So, in His grace, bye-bye.